Hi, I'm Bernie Sheff, Vice President of Biogas Engineering here at Montrose Environmental Group, and I'm the Chairman of the American Biogas Council. I've dedicated my career to advancing anaerobic digestion as a key component of the technologies that are needed to put our nation on a path to a renewable energy future. Montrose is a leading provider of environmental solutions both nationwide and throughout the world and our biogas team is focused on finding unique and sustainable ways to generate renewable biogas from waste stream. At Montrose, I have the pleasure of working closely with a talented team of engineers, designers, project managers, procurement specialists, construction superintendents, and long-term operators. The focus of our biogas group currently is the digestion of dairy manure. But before you can begin to design an anaerobic digestion system, you need a comprehensive understanding of the manure that will be placed in the digester. I want to take some time to talk about our team's extensive knowledge and experience working with dairy farmers in evaluating the waste generated by the herds they manage. It is sincerely a complex process that starts with spending time at the farm, getting to know the site operations and the specific nuances of that dairy, learning about their manure management practices and understanding their goals for making their operation more sustainable. The best way to explain this is to show you. So we're gonna go back a few months to a farm that I visited in Michigan to see what's important to understand for a successful renewable natural gas project. Let's go. So we're out at the farm, and right now is what we call meet the cows. And this is probably the most important part of the entire endeavor, because we have to determine all the nuances associated with the dairy, right? Here we have Holsteins, but we need to know if they're jerseys, if they're crosses, right? Because all that has to do with manure generation. And then housing practices. This is a free stall, and they're bedding on sand here. We need to know about if it's a Saudi barn or if it's some kind of combination of all those. Bedding practices are so very important, right? We got sand over here, but we could have fiber, right? We could have recovered compost from, from the digestate. Or we can even have water beds they might be on. All of those things fit into us determining really the meat, the cows, the understanding of what's going on. Manure collection, that's the next step. How is this collected? Now this, at this facility, we come through with a scrape, right? And we push it all into one end and that's where that sand laid manure is then separated. Or you could have flush flumes, which uses water to convey the manure. And then last but not least, where does that liquid go? Right, if it goes to a lagoon, that's all part of your CI calculations. There's other things we're gonna ask about when we're here, when we do our meet the cow. We're gonna talk about what's your somatic cell. That helps me understand what kind of how you're running your dairy, right? What's your growth vision, right? Right now we're, we're standing here next to the girls, but maybe there's gonna be more girls in the future. Maybe there's another barn over there. We need to know about those things. And then we need to know what is your actual goal beyond just sustainability by making RNG. What do you really wanna do out of this project? Well, that was a nice walk about the farm. We met some cows, learned a bit more about the collection process, and gathered that crucial information to help us better understand the project goals. Once we have all the information we need, we generate a numerical model of the dairy. Taking into consideration some of the details we talked about on the farm, this is that crucial step to determine the amount of biogas that can be generated from this specific project. Following our calculation of how much biogas we can generate, we begin to look at other aspects of the project. We ask questions such as, is there an existing lagoon that we can incorporate into the design? Or will the RNG be injected into a nearby pipeline or maybe trucked to a central injection location? Answering these questions is so important because it allows our team to determine a preliminary carbon intensity score or the CI for the project. This number guides how much revenue can be generated by the project each year. Our team has been trained to run CI scores and is able to develop a good assessment of the number that can be validated by independent third parties later on in the process. Finally, after establishing a relationship with the dairy owner, 
and developing the preliminary requirements of the project, our team works closely with all of the key stakeholders to advance the design for generation and the ultimate processing of that raw biogas into a renewable natural gas stream. One of the most crucial parts of our process connects our engineering and design team with our safety and our long-term O&M team. In order for a project to be successful, long-term operations must be safe and efficient to ensure that a digester can run consistently for 10 or 20 years. Montrose knows how important this holistic approach is so our in-house safety and O&M teams are engaged in system design up front. This means that key system components are designed and implemented with the operator always in mind so that once the project is built, it will generate the amount of renewable natural gas that was envisioned over the long term. We believe it's important to have all of these skill sets on the same team so we can simplify the process and have the farmer and investors only have to communicate with Montrose. In addition to our extensive experience, our team has the geographical presence and financial resources to develop projects of all sizes. This goes far beyond just the services to get your digester built and your upgrading facility operational, but it's also compliance, permitting expertise, laboratory testing, project delivery, risk management, long-term O&M, and many more national and global environmental capabilities. If you're a farm owner or investor looking to develop a renewable natural gas project, the Montrose team has all the critical resources and experience needed to deliver success. As I mentioned, my personal mission is to advance biogas as a solution in this country and I can't wait to engage with more farms to make that vision a reality.